I'm super excited with the lounge we just created. I mean, imagine we've only used 2.5 liters of material and we've been able to create a 1.5 meter couch which several people can sit on it. So the lounge is made on a Pro-X 950 uh, 3D Systems stereo talking machine. Um, but what I've done with the lounger is just try to take the optimized structures but still make it very aesthetic. It's not that we were trying to recreate the world's perfect lounger. No, I'm, I'm more, it's a more of an inspirational piece. You know, take a look at the silkworms. What did they do? You know, how is their cocoon made? How did the spiders, you know, make their a nest, you know, how can those kinds of geometries and those kind of functions be used for other industries? My first question there was like, could I take massive spider web and metal plate it? With 3D technologies, I can express forms only found in nature. I used to spend days or weeks creating the perfect smooth meshes for 3D printing. With geometric freeform, I can smooth my models with just a click of a button. 3D technologies give me the ultimate freedom of creation. So imagine how much material would we be able to save from products, from you know, building materials, from, from whatever, if we're able to manufacture things like this. Transportation costs will be marginal, energy consumption will be less. There's a whole range of benefits which we can't even fathom today.